hi so in this video I'll try to explain briefly how to convert an offset table into a line span uh, I promised a friend that I would do this video and that's what I'm doing it. so this is a typical line span uh, uh, you may know this as the body plan and this to be uh, the half breadth plan and the profile plan so this is a an offset table uh, this the unit is in meters I just uh, I want it in millimeters so I just multiplied it by a thousand this is the millimeter scale so before you start converting an offset table to a lines plan you have to know the LPP of the ship and the depth of the ship the breadth can be found from the offset table uh, so uh, the usual method uh, that we see in offset tables is that the number of stations is for in this case it's the number of stations is 20 so in the lines plan uh, the LPP will be divided by 20 and that decides the station spacing in the same way the number of watt lines in this case is actually uh, I've, I've taken it as nine including the main deck so there will be nine water lines and the depth will be equally divided into nine parts and that's where the water lines will water line spacing is uh, de uh, determined according to that and as you can see for in some places usually in the uh, lower regions uh, the water line spacing is half so there will be instead of 0 and 1 there will be a 0.5 watt line also this is to increase the accuracy at uh, critical areas uh, and uh, this for 0.5 watt line the distance will be, will be a half of the uh, consecutive watt line spacing uh, the same way station spacing also in the starting and the ending a 0.5 spacing is taken uh, and the same uh, same idea is also applied to here so it would be half the distance of consecutive station spaces here I have started drawing the body plan the depth of the vessel was 15.5 meters uh, and this is in the millimeter scale so this is the depth of the vessel and this distance is equally divided into nine parts so according to offset table there are nine watt lines and uh, so the depth is equally divided into nine parts representing the nine watt lines and as you can see there are half spacings in the starting and I have marked that so the distance between the consecutive watt lines would be the same and in the half spacing it would be half Offset tables are just uh, the offset of points from the center line. So first of all, we are going to draw a station. I'm taking 18.5 station. So these points actually represent the offset of this station from the center line. So let us begin uh, the. So I am drawing the station 18.5. So at watt line 0, the offset is 920. So I am just going to put a point here. And the offset would be 920. Similarly, for 0.5, the offset would be 2600. The next one is 3300 and similarly we just uh, you know apply the offsets and we will get the shape similar to this 
so in the same way when we offset these points according to the offset table we are going to get points shaped like this a typical station of the ship a four station i think and and we draw spline or an interpolated curve through this and will be getting uh, the station of the ship similarly we have to uh, we can create the stations uh, of all the stations present in this offset table according to this so just like we made a, a, set, a station we can also make water lines we just have to think of the offset table as uh, now as you know the they are defining the water lines so uh, before we thought of it we thought of it from the perspective of station now we just have to think of it from a perspective of a water line so uh, if I did not see this before these are stations and these are water lines in offset table shown here and now we are just going to take a water line 0.5 uh, uh, similarly uh, for the body plan it was divided based on the depth uh, now for the water lines or the half foot plan uh, we divide it based on the LBP so usually or for almost all the ships I've seen uh, the LBP is taken the fore and aft sections are later drawn into, into it later uh, for most of the cases so uh, in almost all cases the LBP is taken and the LBP is divided into for our case this is 20 stations uh, so the LPP is divided into 20 parts equal 20 parts as I have done here uh, the LBP of my ship was 182 meters yeah 182 meters and I have divided it equally into 20 parts and since like the previous case there are half spacings coming and I have also done, uh, incorporated the half spacings in the starting and the end and just like we offset points for the body plan we can do the same method for the water lines as well so we are taking a 0.5 water line uh, and Okay, these are the stations and this is the water line. So we just come here at a point at zero. Zero station for 0.5 water line, uh, the offset is zero. And similarly, uh, for point, point 0.5 station, it's also zero. For the first station, the offset is 570. For the 1.5 station, and this is 1120. The second station, it is 1750. Similarly, and similarly, we just you know add the offsets according to the offset table, and we are going to get something like this. And we just connect the dots, and this should be our water line. And this is almost how a water line is supposed to look like and that's the way uh, you convert these coordinates into line plan and then you find the intersection between these two and draw the buttock lines and 
finally your ship lines plan is supposed to look something like this so the main idea uh, that some people can't figure out is just the you know how the station spacings are provided so usually in most lines plan uh, the station spacing and the what line spacings are given or uh, if they are not given so it has to be understood that it is divided according to the depth and the LPP of the ship. Uh, generally speaking, uh, offset table conversion is quite easy, and these are pretty much the basic things you need to know for converting an offset table into a 2D lines plan.